welcome to another Garage Time with Goody. And today, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be retapping a hole underneath of a truck with this tap. In today's video, we're going to have to replace a bolt that came out of the sway bar link into the connector that these bolts go into that holds on the sway bar link. The bolt broke off and I had to drill it out and there were no threads. So what I'm gonna to have to do, I'm gonna to have to tap the hole and make new threads. And in order to do that, you can, you have to know the size of your bolt. This bolt size was a 10 by 1.5 pitch and you also want to know the length of the bolt. Now, if you don't know the size of your bolt right off, you can take it to a place like Royal King. That's where I tuck this. There's basically a tool there that you can try your bolts in. It will show you exactly the size and pitch of your bolt. And then accordingly, you can get a tap. Now a tap, Almost looks like a drill bit, but it's not. Here's the actual tap. What this does, you push this straight and evenly into a hole that already exists that the threads are worn out or damaged. Or if you're making a new hole, you want to take a regular drill bit and go ahead and make the correct size of the hole that fits this tap. And as you can see, the tap has these little grooves in it. And what happens is when I'm using the tap, that as you turn this and it cuts into whatever material that it's making the threads in, it's gonna push, it's gonna push that excessive material up through these little valleys here of this bit. As you back it out and then it'll come up through those valleys and then you start turning to the right and then you start turning to the right again and you go you push farther and eventually this will push all the way through and you will get a nice new hole that is threaded with this tap and to make the tap last longer, what you want to do is you get some oil, cutting oil. And there's many different brands and many different kinds. And you just put some on this tap bit all the way around. It keeps this bit lubricated and sharpened just a little bit longer. And will also prevent it some from cracking and chipping and what it connects to is this this is a t and it connects into this and you'll hold it and this gives it leverage to turn you see this right here can go it can go that direction and you can use this as leverage to turn and then you can see you can keep doing that that is how i'm going to thread a new hole underneath the truck so that I can mount the sway bar links. This is a mounting bracket that holds up the sway bar. And as you can see, this top one right here has the threads in the hole. Now I'm going to show you the bottom one. This one does not have the threads. I'm going to take the tap and I'm gonna get this, get this as straight as possible. And I'm gonna apply some pressure. And I'm gonna to try to get this started. Right here I have the cordless drill because the T would not, this T would not clamp down hard enough on it. And I don't have another T. So I'm forced to try it in a way that you shouldn't, but I'm gonna try it. If you have a T, just go ahead and use your T and go around slowly and if it gets hard to turn, then turn it backwards and it'll spit out the metal that's it's grinding. 
I'm gonna go ahead and try this drill. And if it breaks, it's on me. I've got it lined up. And I'm gonna go slow. And then I'm gonna back it up, let out some of the uh, grinding of the metal, some of that metal out. And see how that's hot now? I'm gonna put some cutting oil on that. Yep. So I'm putting a few drops of cutting oil on this bit. And then I'm gonna re-enter this. And as you can see, this bit is coming out the other side. I'm gonna reverse it. all the way out and then I'm going to run it through again make sure that you are level and it's going to run all the way through I'm going to do this three times you don't have to do it three times it's just me that's going to do it three times Then I'm gonna put some more cutting oil on there. The cutting oil does, it helps with the friction and it helps keep this bit cool and sharpened and from wearing out as quick. So you just put that cutting oil on there and then right here, I'm gonna go through it one more time As you can see, it's gonna go all the way through. Then I'm gonna drill it back out. One more time forward. Okay, and then we're gonna back it out. And I'm gonna see if there's the threads are made in there. I'm gonna brush away the metal that it had to cut through. If you can see in there, it has made new threads for the bolts. So that is how you use a tap. Now, ideally you would want to use the T and go slower, but that is the idea. Once you have tapped it and the thre new threads are there, then you can try the new bolts, which that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna try this bolt and see if it will go in the threads before this wouldn't go in at all. And as you can see now, this is going right in. And it's even coming out the other side, all with the power of just my fingers. You can see that this bolt went all the way through And you can see it's on there good with the threads. And that is how you can re-thread or re-tap a hole. Now I will be able to rehang this sway bar and screw the brackets into here and call it a job done. I will go ahead and put the tools that I used in the video description and give you a link so that if you need to re-thread a hole, then you can do it yourself really easy. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. And until next time, I will see you later.